In this third and final pen tool basics tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to combine curves and straight paths. So I'll go to file and open, come down to my chapter 10 folder here, and again, 10.1, I'm gonna open the third file, combo paths. A combination of straight and curved lines. So I'll zoom in. I'll go to my pen tool. I've already activated the white arrow. I already have my color. I already have my brush from the previous two. So all I really need to do is work with the pen tool on this one. And now I start off with a straight line. So remember, if it's a straight line, you do not click and drag. Clicking and dragging is for bending lines. So I'm gonna start here and click and let go. Shift click for a horizontal line. Option or Alt key to start from a corner and now my curve goes up to the right. I let go of the mouse and the Option or Alt key. Move away. This curve comes down and to the right. So I'm gonna press and hold and pull down and to the right until I bend that curve right over my scan. Now, the next thing that I have to draw starts from a corner. Also, it's a straight line. So I hold Option or Alt key to start from a corner. I click to start a straight line. Let go of my Option or Alt key. Click to continue a straight line. Click to end a straight line. Command click on my Mac or control click on your PC to deselect. Spacebar activates your hand tool so you can pull that next one into view. And now I'll do it again. It says make the straight lines first. So that's easy. Click, 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 click. Then use the convert anchor point tool on the top point to curve the line along this dash line. So instead of this coming up as a sharp corner, I want it to bend in an arch. So I go back to my pen tool, press and hold, and I go to the convert point tool. Right here on the top point, I press and hold and I drag. I'm gonna bend a curve from a corner right there. Convert a corner into a curve by dragging these little direction lines. Great. Everything is very flexible here in Photoshop when you're dealing with paths. When I'm ready to continue, I press and hold, come back to the pen tool, command click outside on my Mac or control click on my PC to deselect that line. Spacebar will activate my hand tool and I'll actually zoom out a little bit so we can see the entire length of that. And now I need to draw straight lines, curved lines, straight lines, straight lines, curved lines. Like I said, this is gonna be a combination. So always keep in mind, straight lines, you don't click and drag. You click to start a straight line and you click to end a straight line. Curves, you click and drag. So if it starts from a corner, Option or Alt key, and you drag up because the curve goes up, let go of your mouse and your keyboard. You only do it at the beginning. This curve comes up and comes back down. So at the end of a curve, you don't touch your keyboard. You just press and hold and pull your mouse down. You want the curve to continue to go down. Now I let go of the mouse. The next thing that I have to draw is a straight line. It starts from a corner. So I hold Option or Alt key. Click to start a straight line. I let go of the mouse and the Option or Alt key. Click to continue a straight line click to continue a straight line. The next curve segment starts from a corner. Option or Alt key when you start from a corner. 
The curve goes up to the right, so I go up to the right. I let go of my mouse and my Option or Alt key. Now the curve comes up, dips way back down. So I'm gonna press and hold and dip way back down to continue that curve coming down. Now the last segment is another straight line. It starts from a corner. That's when I'm gonna hold Option or Alt key when I'm starting from a corner. The next thing I have to draw is a straight line so you don't click and drag. You hold Option or Alt key, click. Now you let go of the Option or Alt key and you click to end. Command click on a Mac or Control click on a PC to deselect. And I'll hold my space bar. And the final one, it says, finish this segment using all the things you now know about the pen tool. So with enough practice, here's how I draw. Click, shift click, option key, no option key when I finish. Option click, shift click for a horizontal line. Option to start from a corner, no option key at the end. I'm saying option because I'm on a Mac. Option click to start from a corner, shift click for a straight line. Option to start from a corner, no option key at the end as the curve goes up. Option and click to start from a corner, shift click. All those things and directions are going on in my head like a crazy person. I am constantly telling myself what to do as I draw. Try it, it will definitely help. Okay, just don't tell people you're talking to yourself. I'm proud enough to admit that. So now that I've done this, I'll zoom out. I have all my lines, my combinations drawn. Like I said before, you double click the words work path and we will call this combo paths. I click once down below the name to deselect them, once on the name to reactivate them. And I already had, like I showed before, I have my color selected, I have my brush tip selected. You can change the color if you want, it doesn't matter to me. I go to my paths panel pop up, stroke the path again. If you like that simulated pressure setting, great, go for it. If you don't like it, turn it off. It's not right or wrong. It just shows you how it works. And I click OK. So now that I click down below the name of the paths, there's my third file with visual proof that I've traced these paths correctly. Awesome. File menu, save a copy, always with your last name, first name, combo paths, always on your desktop, always as a JPEG, and always eight or high quality when you're going to go to turn it into me. So that's how you do a combination of straight and curves, curved paths, and you should be coming be, you should start becoming, I'm an art major, not an English major, you should start becoming more comfortable with the pen tool, okay? Now if I can just get my head straight and talk right, I'd be a great teacher. So that's enough for this one. In the next demo, I'm going to show you how we actually put it to use, not just drawing little goofy curves, but actually using it on a photo. So I'll see you then.